I want the perfect music making setup here in my home studio. And I think I've built it. All right, I have a bit of a problem. This desk, my main desk, though it may look cool, it's not a desk. This is a kitchen table. Not only that, this setup is not a music making setup, at least not as its main priority. It is very much a video creation and streaming setup, and I am sick of it. I need the perfect music making setup here in my home studio. I wanna take you through my process and my thinking in building this setup because I think any of you out there who have your own home studios may wanna think of some of the same things for your setup. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Fezibo, the makers of the amazing desk that this entire setup is about to be built on. And on that note, let's get building. Alright, so even though this desk is a mechanical sit stand desk, it has an extra shelf, a monitor stand, and the sides and back, it was pretty easy to put together. So I wanted to jump in and immediately start putting gear on the desk, but it was in this moment I realized I needed to think a lot more about this. Do this before you buy any gear. All right, we're gonna start by making a list. Home studio must haves. So what do I wanna be doing in my setup? Recording with a mic and recording line in. Those are two very, very basic needs here. Next, wouldn't it be great if I could process and make sounds with some of my hardware instruments? And how about if I could make sound with no laptop attached? That would be great too. And it would be epic if I could sample any sound coming out of this setup. Now, what matters most is convenience. I wanna sit down and be making music in five seconds. So many people just buy gear, but don't actually think about how it relates to what they actually wanna be doing. But now that we have this list, let me talk about the gear and more interestingly, how are we gonna connect it all together? I've got two instruments that I love. Number one is the Yamaha Reface CP. It is an electric piano, it's got some beautiful sounds, and it's also got lots of options for in and out, including MIDI in and out and USB to use it as a USB MIDI controller. The next instrument here is the Lemon Drop. I love this. It's a little granular synth that you can even record audio into, but import your own samples. You can make some beautiful sounds with this thing. Okay, but... But what if I want to process these sounds and make them sound super cool? The Hologram Microcosm is perfect for that. Basically turn any sound into a beautiful, huge atmospheric pad. Okay, so those are the sounds, but how can we super easily sample those sounds? That's where the SP404 Mark II comes in. It's got one button that if you press it, it records everything from the previous 40 seconds. And finally, what if I want to be able to control Ableton Live, but also send out MIDI data and create sequences without actually having to connect my computer to use the hardware? That doesn't need a computer anyway. Enter the Launchpad Pro. Aside from being a great controller for Ableton Live, it also has two MIDI outs and a MIDI in, so I can go ahead and control my synths as well as my DAW. It's got a sequencer too, so that's perfect. Okay, but how can we connect this all together? I do not want to have a setup where I have to switch around cables every time I want to use something different. I want to be able to sit down and just make music. Say hello to the Archuria Audio Fuse. We have to dust this one off because it's been in my closet for a while, but it's got a bunch of inputs and outputs as well as insert channels and a USB hub. This, I think, is gonna allow me to connect literally all of those pieces we just talked about. I really need to draw this out so I can map it all out and make sure that what I wanna do will actually work. All right, stick with me, this can get a little complicated. Everything will run into the audio fuse, including the microphone as well as the Yamaha Reface CP. Let's use the hologram as an insert for channel two. 
Now we've got the lemon drop, which we can control with the reface and blah, 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 laptop and speakers, but Launchpad Pro, which is gonna help us sequence the Yamaha Reface CP. Now, how do we sample everything again? Not the laptop, SP404 Mark II. It can listen to a headphone out, but send audio back to an input, and I think that's it. Okay, and now if my calculations are correct, which we know that they always are, we will be able to run this whole setup with no laptop at all and be able to sequence the Reface CP with the Launchpad Pro, control the lemon drop with the Reface CP, sample and record all right, to be honest, I spent the rest of the night doing a bunch of cable management and running all these wires and making all this work. And well, let me show it to you. So the setup is put together. I want to take it for a spin and finally show you all like just the pure functionality of it, starting with a no laptop setup. So currently no laptop. All I had to do was flick this setup on and now I'm instantly making sound, but let's break this down for a second. So the most basic here, I can hear my Yamaha Reface CP. We love that. And if I actually turn the volume up on the lemon drop here and turn the volume down on the Yamaha Reface CP. We're instantly able to get some cool sounds out of the lemon drop just like that. Now I turned up the volume on the lemon drop because I had it all the way down. If I have both of these, the Yamaha Reface CP and the lemon drop on, I'm gonna hear a mix of both of those sounds, which could get pretty fun. I've been having fun. Blending these both. Let me turn the lemon drop off for now because let's engage the microcosm hologram. Now the way this is working is the hologram is run as an insert track into the audio fuse. So actually anything that's plugged into input two, I could plug a guitar into input two, I could just swap it out, uh, will be processed through the microcosm hologram when I turn it on. So now we go from having an electric piano sound this beautiful pad sound. This is just one of the sounds out of the microcosm, but I love just with a flick of a button, I can go from electric piano to epic. Spacey. Pads. Okay, that's not all. Let's keep things rolling because we have the Launchpad Pro. What are we doing here with this thing? Well, I can play notes. The MIDI out is going to the Yamaha Reface CP, don't forget. But playing notes, I could do that on the keyboard. More importantly, there is a sequencer here. So let's sequence a quick pattern. I'm literally just gonna turn record on. I can't hear time or anything, but I'm just gonna hold some long notes. Suddenly we have a cool little drone here. Some cool stuff on the Launchpad Pro is I can mutate this pattern. I can change the probability of each note. Uh, so the sequence can go through and kind of be different each time. This will be really fun for creating some drones and sampling stuff and doing some random sequences uh, with no laptop. But what about the fact that I want to be able to sample everything? And how this works is imagine you're just sitting at your setup just jamming, just making some sound, just relaxing, making some cool music, playing some chords.
but you're just playing. You're like, dang, I wish I could, you know, sample that. Let me remember those chords, record them maybe. But with the SP404, all I got to do is hit the mark button, which is the skip back functionality of the SP404. And what it's doing is recording the past 40 seconds of literally everything that it has been hearing. So let's just play this back. It'll be exactly what I was playing before those chords are here. And they're sampled through the 404, so I can change whatever the input effects are on the 404. I have a cassette effect on, so it's got that cool warbly wobbly sound, but boom, instantly saved the past 40 seconds of whatever I played. So as long as I'm quick and I grab that skip back button after I play something that I think was really cool, I can just instantly save it onto the 404 and it's that fast. And that again goes for all the sounds coming out of this setup. If I had the lemon drop on, I could grab the lemon drop sound. If I engage the hologram, I can grab the hologram sound. Even if I hook up my laptop, which of course I can, and this setup is just as compatible. I can multi-track everything into Ableton Live. I've got the mic here in case I wanna record with that. And to me, this is the perfect home studio setup. A couple quick things that make this desk awesome for this setup. First of all, the shelf. You could use it as a monitor shelf, but it's also useful to hide all my cables that are running there in the background. I can also hide away this gear when maybe I'm not using it. Maybe my notebooks are here, I'm doing painting or something. It's got the sides, so I'm never worried that I'm gonna knock my speakers off or push something out over the edge. My headphones are always just a short reach away because there are headphone hooks on either side of the desk. And of course, this is a straight up sit stand desk, meaning that when I wanna get up and move, which can actually have an effect on the music, I can put it in standing mode. Another reason I chose this desk is because it also has this awesome shelf down here, which is perfect for storage. I'm keeping some of my new uh, percussion instruments here. Check, check out this. I've also got my four track tape deck here, which I do have plans to use the speaker B output of the audio fuse to have a constant line running to the actual cassette player. That's a dream, but I'm not quite ready to set that up yet. It's a perfect spot for any gear or instruments that I don't have space for on the top of the desk that I might not use all the time. And I wanna thank Fezimo one more time for sponsoring today's video. I literally could not have built this setup without them. And this is the perfect desk for any home studio. Check out the link in the description if you wanna pick one up for yourself or see the other styles they have available. And thank you all for watching and making it this far in the video. I wanna know what you think of this setup. I'm so stoked to finally have it fully set up and be able to do some full working sessions here. I'm thinking about filming just some uncut sessions sitting here at this desk and putting them up for members. If that's something you all are interested in, let me know. And let me know what kind of thought you put into your own home studio. If this video was helpful, if you have other tips for me, things that I should consider, would love to hear them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a like on your way out. And if you want to support this channel, click the join button, become a member that gets you access to our discord channel, some free sounds. You can participate in members only events. It's a good time. I try to deliver more value than the cost of the membership. I try, but that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.